Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a product review. Not just any old product. We are going to be reviewing the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I was seeing this on Juicy Jazz's channel, I believe, and it really intrigued me. Cream to powder, you know, I don't know. I don't normally use foundations that are in compacts like this, so I'm quite interested as to what it's going to do. I'm assuming it's going to be matte, but on my phone I do have screenshots of the claims um, of this product on ultabeauty.com, so I'm just going to go ahead and read those out to you guys so that we can get a clear understanding of what we're going into and to see if that really holds up with my skin. For reference of skin, I do have combination skin. I have normal... I have kind of combination but I have mainly normal to oily but it's it's combination like I let's say I'll be more oily in areas like here like around my nose and like my t-zone and then the rest could be like normal I don't really suffer from dry skin rarely 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 so it's mainly you know normal to oily or like combo skin I, I, I guess I go more with combo skin details of this product blend in standout Mil Milani conceal and perfect smooth finish cream to powder foundation is back and better than ever I guess this is some newer version of this I've never tried a Milani foundation or face product I don't think ever so this must have complexion perfector glides on as a cream and magically morphs into a buildable full coverage light diffusing powder foundation with a soft matte camera ready finish so it's soft matte full coverage boom those are some some good claims made with lily and bamboo extracts to control oil and shine to keep skin on point wherever the day takes you antioxidant rich vitamins a and e and green tea help to protect skin available available in expanded shade range of 22 skin perfecting shades <laughs> do i think 22 shades are enough no but um looking at their shade range i mean they do go deep but i mean there's always why can't we do the full-on shade range you know i mean there's so many different beautiful skin colors out there that deserve to be included so i don't think the shade range is the best uh, there's always room for improvement so if you're gonna expand it expand it for everyone not just for certain people but yeah so it says, it also has benefits. So the benefits say light diffusing buildable full coverage foundation, soft matte finish, a lily and bamboo extract, control oil and shine, contains antioxidant rich vitamins A and E, plus green tea, available in 22 shades. So here we are today. We're going to see if this product is a win or a fail. So I have this in the shade 258 Rich Sand. This is what it looks like. I was wondering why oh it comes with the, the puff oh my god this reminds me of like there was this oh my god I there was this like cover girl foundation it was in a blue compact and it had the powder foundation on top and then the puff on the bottom let me know down below if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and I'll put a picture here if I can find what it is but this is what it looks like she's cute I kind of want to feel it <gasps> feels very um Really, I don't know how to explain it. It seems like it's oil based. It feels like it's oil based, but it is a cream, so I don't know. But I'm gonna prep my skin like I normally would. So I'm gonna first go on with my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. We're gonna apply that all over the face. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that's almost gone. I'm gonna use a foundation brush. I like to use a flat brush to apply this, or my fingers. It really doesn't matter. Or my Beauty Blender. I literally can use anything to apply this primer and she does her thing okay boom we are primed and ready to go but here's the thing so i normally like to go in with my maybelline fit me powder um prior to my foundation because i feel like that just really completes all these steps for me and i don't want to make this video any different but at the same time i mean cream to powder that kind of scares me but i think i'm going to go in with my regular foundation routine to give it a fair shot as to how i would personally wear it so i am going to take my maybelline fit me powder in light medium 20 and I'm just going to use this e.l.f. highlighter brush that I literally use for everything besides highlighter and just apply that to my skin. It really helps just build a nice layer of, I don't know, it just makes my skin more matte and helps me just get nicer, a nicer finish. While I'm at it, I think I'm going to do my brows because 
they look naked so I'll be right back okay so we are back and my brows are now filled they may look a little crazy but so we have the foundation here like I said I'm in the shade 258 rich sand well I think I am and I normally either apply my foundation with just my beauty sponge or my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH03 love these but I really think that I want to try my beauty blender I don't know I don't know yeah I'm gonna try my beauty blender I love this compact though it's really pretty it looks really luxurious oh and this by the way retailed for for $10.99 and you are getting 0 0.28 ounces of product okay so I'm gonna okay it's on the sponge okay I don't trust this because I had other product on it so I'm gonna take my brush and go into it and see what that does I'm so not used to this this is so weird I don't I feel like there's nothing going on my skin but at the same time I'm getting a blurring effect oh my god I think I chose like the perfect shade because it literally looks like there's nothing on my skin as I'm applying it. First thoughts, there's a slight smell, but it smells like a cream product, if that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like cream products are like this are bound to have scents. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Nothing overpowering, though. Um, but it's very skin-like. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I feel like it looks like I didn't put anything on my skin, but my scars are covered and I just have a nice soft matte finish. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me... Wait. I like... Hold on. I don't want to add too much. Okay. Close her. Wait. huh y'all don't understand it's like i it's not in a bad way where you take something and you apply it and then you feel like it disappeared like i took it and i applied it and it like blurred my skin and just uh, i don't i'm kind of shook i'm kind of shook i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender over top just to go over because whenever i use a brush that's what i do so i want to give it like a fair shot of how I would use it on an everyday basis if I were to. Looking at my skin, it looks like it's setting nicely into my skin. And it's just looking really nice. I'm quite surprised. Whoa. No, I'm shocked. Like, I'm shocked. It doesn't look like it's sitting on the skin. It looks like it's seeping in nicely and just giving me such a nice... Uh, it really is soft matte. It's giving me a nice soft matte finish, which I freaking love. I love a nice soft matte finish foundation. Oh my god, if y'all can hear the rain, please excuse it. Oh my gosh, hold on. It really helped cover dark spots. Um, of course, you can see my breakout through it. I mean, your girl's breaking out. I mean, hormonal acne. I mean, what can we, what can we do? But this is so cute. Cute. I was talking about my hair. <laughs> but this is so nice. Okay. Wow. I'm, I'm honestly very surprised, but... How it interacts with my other everyday products I think is really going to be the test. I was going to go off camera and finish off my face, but I kind of want to show you guys as I'm doing it. Because I know how these products sit on the foundation that I use every day. Which would be like the CoverGirl True Blend or like the Oma Beauty. But yeah, so I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in shade Buff Beige. And I'm going to apply that right underneath as my highlighter. I think I'm going to go all out, like cream contour and everything, because I really want to make sure that this works well with products that I know how to use with my other 
foundations. So you're going to see me cream contour and everything. We're going to give this girl a really fair shot. One thing that scares me though because it goes from cream to powder is like if I, I did apply powder underneath but like when I apply powder on top of like my concealer is that going to make it too dry or I don't know. I really like this though. It with the concealer looks really good. I also like the contrast of my highlight shade with the shade that I chose. Uh, it was a good shade match, but like I said, I do think other shades are needed. So another expansion, please, because I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Chestnut. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. going to just blend in the contour concealer wow guys I'm really enjoying this oh my gosh I feel like my skin looks so flawless I love a soft matte finish I've realized that while trying out the Ulma Beauty foundation I'm using the same powder that I used before to set but I've noticed that I really do like soft matte for my skin so the fact that this is really giving me like a similar effect I'm very happy and I'm very very happy wow like my face looks I don't know if it shows on camera my skin looks so flawless it almost looks like I barely did anything to it like if I didn't want to finish off this look it probably would have just looked like my skin but a little bit better, you know what I mean? Because my skin is not perfect like that, as we saw. But wow. Taking my Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer in Tawny Mommy. Wow. I'm pleasantly shocked. Going into my Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar, taking the JH09, the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush, and using the highlighter. Period. I keep staring at my skin. I mean, that's obviously the point of this video is to examine the skin, and I'm I'm pleasantly happy. Okay guys, so I am finished with the application of my makeup and now it is time for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts, I honestly love the way my skin looks. It like looks so natural and so pretty. It is really soft matte so the claims are right. Um, I do feel like it had buildable coverage because I did build it up with the brush. I would recommend using a brush like this one because it was very easy to apply and to kind of blend into the skin. And it looked really skin-like. I couldn't even tell at first if I was putting it on. Not in a bad way, but because it was my skin tone and it just went in so flawlessly that I was just like... like the product didn't disappear or anything, but it went into my skin so flawlessly that I was super shocked honestly because I can normally notice when I'm putting foundation on and for this product I couldn't so besides the fact that it was really blurring and making my skin matte like I didn't you know see much of a difference now um I really do like this foundation so i'd have to definitely give this foundation a yay i just really hope that one day they ex extend the shade range again because i mean this is a great foundation that anybody can use and i think that it'd be great if there were you know some deeper tones and also some more fair tones so that you know and medium all of it could be expanded you know so I really like this foundation it's such it's I don't know I feel like I don't even have makeup on it's so lightweight on the skin and so it doesn't like sit on top of my skin it seeped in my skin took it very well and it just it delivered while wow, it started pouring when I talked when I was applying nothing so I really would recommend this foundation um, it's great for my combination skin um, I think it'd be good for oily skin as well because it doesn't feel too like I don't know I when I heard powder foundation you know that kind of scared me because that powder 
that's not my girl but I think that this would be great for combination skin for oily skin and even dry skin it just it feels like my skin but better like like I don't know I don't feel it heavy so I think that dry skin people can really try this out but of course it is a soft matte foundation so you want to be sure and be clear because you don't need any dry patches or anything but overall I really do like this foundation I would recommend you try it's $10.99 and I mean I was kind of scared that I was going to use so much that I, that I was going to hit Pam but I didn't it's $10.99 She's cute in the packaging and she performs well on the skin, so I would recommend. If you guys have tried this before, let me know what you guys think of this foundation down below. I would really love to hear your thoughts. I love hearing other people's thoughts on different products, new products, old products, things that I want to try. So you guys let me know down below what you guys think of this product, if you've tried it or if you are interested in trying it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. Let me know if there's any other foundations or concealers that you'd like me to review because I definitely can because I love doing this. I love trying new products and finding good ones and cycling out bad ones. So let me know and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Oh